my name is Carlos Urban and today I'm gonna uh, show a tutorial of two different ways that you can create a Facebook ad. This is a, a basic tutorial so I'm not gonna show all the advanced features I just want you to be able to do the basics okay so the first way is well first of all to do an ad you need to have a Facebook page so this is my Facebook page. You can create a Facebook page uh, and I'm gonna have a separate video for that. Uh, but there are many ways that you can do that. You can go to the business manager. So let me, you can go to the, uh, let's see, Facebook ads manager. So this is, this is the, the business manager. When you go to Facebook, See, it says Facebook for business. You can also search Facebook for, if you do facebook.com slash business. Okay, so let's do this. Just, if you were just doing that, facebook.com dot business, then takes you to the same page. And, oh, actually, it's a different one. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, and you will see here that says create an ad. But if you click, on it, uh, it gives you the option to create a page, okay? So I'm not gonna do that here because that requires a separate video. So let's. this is for people that have already created their page. So I'm gonna show you how to do it from your page and how to do it with the Ads Manager, okay? Ads Manager is a lot more comprehensive and you can do many more things. So there is many ways that you can do this. Um, so this is my, you know, this is the photography page that I'm building. I started building it. Uh, I just put a few pictures. Uh, here's the call to action and so on. So first of all, it says switch into car, uh, switch here to start managing it. So switch now. Sometimes the button says manage it. So I'm gonna click switch now because switch now is because I wanna manage the page. So I wanna do things uh, to my page so let's give it a minute to load okay so you will see that oh by the way you see here it says manage so again sometimes it says manage sometimes it says switch you see now it says here promote uh, so if I click on this Wow, it's taking a long time. That takes me to, you know, to create a new ad. So that's one way. I'm gonna go back so you can see there's all these different ways. You can also go over here where it says menu. And if you click menu, then you have here ad. So that's another way. If you keep going down here, you can go to the ad manager, which we're gonna do later. So first, the simple way. I'm gonna click add, create ad, okay? Oh, I think that's loading the ad manager. That's loading the ad manager. Yeah, this is loading the ad manager, which I will show later. So let's go back over here and click promote. Because again, there is, so you see now all of a sudden it, it, it doesn't go into that ad manager. It automatically asks you, what do I wanna do? I'm gonna show you how to do it manually instead of the automated. The automator gives you a series of questions and it's going to be very easy to do. So if you learn how to do it manually, you'll obviously know how to do it automated. So, um, so I'm going to click here, click new ad. Okay. Uh, so an error here I'll, I'll fix it later so all of a sudden okay you have here a description and you have an ad preview 
okay so um, and you can do shuffle creative you can do uh, more of this but I want to go directly to the description so in the description this is an ad I had created before I'm going to put in the description if you enjoy and here on the top you can see how it's in the preview by the way sometimes the preview is right next see if you enjoy so what I'm writing okay now you can see both of it if you enjoy photography and would like okay would like posts with pictures and uh, tutorials free tutorials and free I don't know why it does that this is very interesting I don't know if it's something to do with my computer so I apologize Let's see, I, I'm gonna wait. Okay, now it's loading, loading. Okay, it loaded, free. Okay, so sometimes you just need to wait until it loads. Okay, tutorials. Follow my page. it doesn't take that long but you know what if you have this problem at least you know how to fix it follow actually follow this page okay so let's see if it puts it but we found an error on the ad creative well we're gonna change the ad creative right now okay so now free tutorials follow this page all right, now, uh, it automatically gives me the, the previous one. Automatic enhancements, I don't really know what it does. Uh, you know, it's up to you if you want to uh, do the automatic enhancements. Um, your accurate is to the person viewing your ad, it may adjust the brightness. Okay, fine, that's fine. So I'm gonna select a picture. So, so I'm, you know, I'm just gonna select this one. Again, I, I don't even know if I'm gonna run this ad. I'm just showing you how to do that. Oh, okay, so now it has, so you see it showed me when you click on the X and now it has this one, okay? A headline, headline, Carlos. So let's look how the ad looks. Carlos Urban Photography. If you enjoy photography and would like post with pictures and free tutorials follow this page okay so so far so good uh, so let's see you can put sign up so, so I'm gonna put subscribe. I want it. I want people to subscribe. Uh, contact if they want to contact me. That's fine. You can direct them to the website to make a purchase. My website has pictures, but I prefer this one. I can, I can even create a form, right? So you can get the information and so on. But right now, to keep it simple, let's just leave it like that special ad category uh, ad is about credit employment housing social issues election politics no it's none of those okay this is the part that i really wanted to get to the the audience what you're so who are you targeting 
Now, when you think target audience goes a little bit beyond target, the difference in marketing between target consumer, target customer, or target market, so there's many different, but target consumer is the person who uses the product, okay? A target customer is the person who uses and buys the product, and target audience could be even people who influence the purchase decision, so it's broader, okay, than that. So I'm gonna leave it in audience, okay? Uh, let's see. So I put United States and India because again, I'm not a local business and um, for some reason, a lot of, I get a lot of people who watch my YouTube videos from India and India is in English, so I guess that's perfectly fine. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Here you can put men or women. In my case, it's all people, all ages. Uh, so I don't have a problem with that. It tells you here the estimated 700 million. Wow, that's a lot, I guess because it's India. So I'm gonna save this audience. Now, here is the part that gets really interesting. Oh, now I see, minimum age is too low. Ah, okay, so it has to be 18 or older. Okay, so that's one of the errors. So let's put 18, okay. So, sorry, oh, I forgot. Okay, so here in the target, I have put people who, who like photography. And by the way, this is very easy to add. You can put the word photography as if you were Googling photography, right? So I'm gonna put photography. So automatically it adds it. So now all of a sudden it has photography. Um, So I'll, I'm gonna just leave it like that. The bottom line is you can put the interest of, of people. So I'm gonna say, for example, uh, food photography, since this one is about food. Okay, so this is food photography. It could be a food and photography restaurant administrator. So this is interesting, right? So if I wanna sell uh, my photography to people who run restaurants, that's interesting. Uh, food and restaurants, food photography interest. For now, I'm just gonna put food photography interest. Okay, so what else? All right, that's basically it. So I'm gonna click save audience. Okay. People who like your page. The audience you selected is too narrow. Why is it too narrow? Select a broader audience. Oh, because I added, sorry, I added people who like my page. Uh, so that's, it was actually giving me here some suggestions and I added people who like my page and the people who like my page are very few people. So obviously I need to remove that. Uh, so how do I remove that? Okay, it's not here. Oh, here, people who like your page, no, no. So, sorry, here is where you select it, okay? So now it took out people who like my page. All right, you can create an, a new audience completely from scratch, and that's perfectly fine. And there's many different interests and so on. What happened is, we're in the 14 minute mark and this is supposed to be the easy way to do the ad. Uh, okay, so run it for seven days, $5, so you can change that. Where do you want it? Facebook and Instagram. A Facebook Pixel. So what is Facebook Pixel? Create a Facebook to measure results for your ads. So no, I wanna measure the results of my ads. So that's my credit card. So, so far so good. 
tells you estimated results, and this is what the ad is going to look like. Okay, Carlos Aram Photography, subscribe. Uh, if I want to change this, it's the same as the heading, so I can change it over there. Um, you can also click here, see all previews. And what that does is it shows you what it's going to look in desktop and mobile, but then most importantly, also on Instagram. So let's wait for it to load. So we already saw the Facebook. So let's just click Instagram. so long to load I don't know why it's so slow I apologize but this can happen to you so you know I'm not gonna do another video when the internet is faster but I'm not gonna make you wait forever obviously it's going to show I'm just gonna close it right now because I want to get to the ad manager so I'm gonna close this okay it's taking long even to close it I'm gonna pause the video for a second. It's funny, the, the moment I say I'm gonna pause the video, it, it popped up. So here it is. So so this is ready, okay? Uh, but obviously I don't want to publish it. Okay, so I'm just gonna exit out of it. I see that for some reason. That's fine. Uh, I can in the Facebook manager if it appears there I can erase it from there so I'm gonna close this so this was your changes will be lost or you should want to leave yes so that's one method okay the other method which is the one that is more comprehensive is using the ads manager so this is the ads manager if you need to find the ads manager again just go just erase this just go business.facebook.com slash ads manager there is your ads manager so if your login is already saved it's, it's going to log in automatically if not it's going to ask you to um, you know to log in so here I have one campaign that is in draft form, another one that I turn off, and another one that is completed. Uh, so here, so this is the, the most comprehensive way to create an ad campaign. And, and I'm actually gonna do a another video on how to see the, um, the results. Okay, so let's click create. I'm gonna create a new campaign. Now, there is something very important that you need to understand about advertising. Whenever you say campaign, an advertising campaign is usually about some sort of theme, okay, uh, that has many different executions. So executions are ads on this same theme. So for example, yesterday we're looking at the Rocket Mortgage ad with Tracy Morgan, the one that had the highest brand recall during the Super Bowl. So that would be, the campaign would be the Tracy Morgan campaign. And then you could do, I don't know, 10 different TV ads that use Tracy Morgan. So a campaign means uh, that you can do many of them. Okay, so the first thing it's gonna ask you is choose a campaign objective. The campaign objective follows the marketing funnel. The marketing funnel, if you're taking marketing, you know that it start is basically the progression that as a consumer, you go through in order to buy something. First of all, you become aware of the product. Obviously, if you're aware of the product, then you don't need to, but, but even if you're aware of the product, let's say you're aware of Apple, but maybe you're not aware of the latest iPhone 13. So you know that it came out. So if you were trying to promote Apple, we're trying to promote the iPhone 13, even in that case, it would be branded. 
uh, consideration, then so awareness is either you want people to so you show your ad as much as possible so people remember so you're creating impressions or you try to reach as many people as you can it's very different here you're very targeted and you have a lot of impressions here you're trying to reach a lot of people uh, under consideration you have different things so consideration is what usually you have consideration and interest is, is how you get them what do you need to do to get them to convert? Convert usually means sales. So you want to generate traffic to your website. That's one way. Another thing could be to get them engaged. So they, they go to your website and they click likes or put comments. So the engagement, there is something called engagement rate, which is basically the likes, the comments and the shares divided by your impressions. Uh, and so on. So you have all these different things. So for now, what I'm gonna do, I'm still in the brand awareness stage. I, I, very few people still know my page. So I'm gonna put brand awareness, okay? Now it, so it says, show your ads to people are more likely to remember, okay? Name your campaign, optional. So I'm gonna name it so, you know, we're doing the food. So I'm going to name it food. Uh, within the ad set, I'm going to put Japanese. Okay. And the ad is the sushi. Okay, so you already saw the picture. So I'm going to click continue. This is again the special category. If you're into politics and all that, that has nothing to do with us. Campaign details, uh, buying type. So you have auction, okay. Uh, let's just click edit to see what other options you have. Oh, only auction, so I guess it's options. <laughs> uh, campaign objective, we already said awareness. Let's just click more options and see what else is there. Spending limit, so we haven't added a spending limit. You can add a spending limit, okay? So that's usually good if you have a budget. Uh, campaign budget optimization, will distribute your budget on or off? For now, I'm just gonna leave it at off. Okay, so I'm gonna click next. Okay, dynamic creative, right? Uh, different headlines and automatically generate uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave that off again I'm just trying to do the simple stuff for now so we have now the targeting very similar to what we had before but you can do a lot more so search existing target you have look-alike audience so these are people that look alike to the audience that you have so for now, I'm surprised you then. This is interesting. Oh, here, use to save audience. Oh, here is photographer. So if you already have an audience, I already have one pre-selected. I'm not gonna create it again, but you already saw how to create it, which is what I did last time. You just put photographer, you put the age groups and so on. So I'm just gonna put the photographer audience and I can edit it. So, for example, in this case, I also want to add India. I told you India is a, is a, is a good audience for me because they also uh, speak English, obviously. Well, understand English. India. Okay. Hmm, it's asking me where in India. All of India. <laughs> All right. Uh, so now let's see yeah this is fine I'm gonna click oh I also let me put food photography food photography so I put digital so you see this is just a lot more detail so I'm gonna put food photography Food photography. I'm going to click update. Not all answers can you 
use the save audience. Okay. Uh, well, I'm not gonna do this now. That's for another post that I did. So I don't want to confuse you. Uh, what else? Placement, automatically, manually, if you wanted to like put it in different groups, but you know, Facebook's artificial intelligence is much smarter than me, so I'm not gonna second guess them. Uh, add re recall lift, yeah, that's fine. Again, for all of this, you can edit. Uh, I'm not trying to go through every single detail because then this video would never end. Um, let's see, fairly broad. Here's up with the estimated audience. Daily results, that's the daily results with the budget that I have. I'm only putting $5. Okay, but they, so something that is very important. $5 per day. So, you know, I'm gonna put an end date and I think it requires you to at least be 24 hours. So I'm gonna put until the 23rd. Um, yeah, you see it has to be at least 24 hours. So I'm gonna put 7 p.m. Okay. All right, so far so good. Okay, so let's click next, otherwise we're never gonna get to the creative. <laughs> so here you can connect to an account, to your Instagram account. So if you have an Instagram account, uh, you can select it here. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know why mine is not automatically selected, uh, but I'll leave that for now because I don't want to waste time looking for my account. Uh, add setup, so you can do single image, carousel, that's two or more scrollable. So I, I've done that before, collection, group of items. I'm gonna keep it simple, just simple image. Uh, edit, so I'm gonna, here is where you actually choose the image. So change the image. It had automatically chosen an image for me from my website. Uh, so let's see, the sushi. Again, I'm keeping it very simple. Uh, for This is the way it's gonna look for stories. Oh my God, for stories it looks horrible. Okay. So you see, this is interesting. You really want to make sure. Let me see this crop. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't go. Okay. But here, okay. This this looks a little better. The Japanese face in the back. Okay, this looks a little better. Uh, I can keep. You know, again, photographers never end until they like it, I'm just gonna keep it like that because the purpose here is not to show you how to crop a picture, okay? Uh, add website URL. So the primary, again, you have your preview here. This is so, I already showed you before for, for how to change it. So here you change it and it, and it appears here. So if I put, uh, you know, follow my page Okay, uh, you can add more options, add a website URL. So in this case, I'm gonna add a URL not found, add a website URL. Oh, because I have to put it. Okay, so give me one second, I'll find it. So I'm gonna put my YouTube, what is my YouTube? I want people to go to my YouTube page because that's where I have all my tutorials. I don't really search, uh, sorry, don't sell uh, much photography. So let me see, I thought I had it here. Okay, it's not there. Oh, here it is, okay. Okay, I forgot. It was a C. Urban 222. channel so you go my channel so 
actually should be. tutorials oh that's interesting it shows now my name maybe I did something to change it that's actually even better Okay, so going back here, URL. So this is basically it. You just keep on doing this and here you have the preview and that's it I mean you can keep playing with it uh, let's see click here review I think review shows it in a page so here it is this is what it looks like okay uh, and and you're done then you click publish now I don't want to publish publish obviously uh, so I'm gonna click publish no well, because I know it happened to me once that it, uh, you see, it's a draft. I published it by mistake and all of a sudden it started running. So that's it. That's basically how you use the ad manager. Okay, so you basically create it. You have it here. I'm going to click off because I want to make sure that it's not running. Okay, well, thank you very much. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm going to do more videos that are a little more advanced. Again, the objective here was how to make, a, how to do a very create a very simple ad in two very different ways thank you and i hope you enjoy this video